variegated woodpeckers are one of the quintessential black and white woodpeckers. They have a black crown and really noticeable white cheek patches. The back is black with white barring and the chest and the belly is white with black barring. And with a name like red cockaded woodpecker, you would think there would be some red patch somewhere on the head that would help you identify the bird. Instead, the white cheek patches are really the best identification feature. Adult males do have a small patch of red feathers on either side of the head, but those red patches are rarely visible. These birds are habitat specialists and rely on open, mature pine forests. In Oklahoma, that habitat is limited to the Washita Mountains, so historically, the birds were only found in the southeastern corner of the state. That range has gotten smaller and smaller with habitat changes, and today, the state's last remaining birds are thought to only occur on the McCurtain County Wilderness Area and the nearby Washita National Forest. The Wildlife Department, U.S. Forest Service, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are working to improve habitat conditions for the birds. Biologists have added nesting inserts in the trees to encourage the birds to stay and nest on the area. Area. But more importantly, they're using prescribed fire to keep the forest open and in the best condition for the birds. The red cockaded woodpecker is federally listed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as an endangered species. To help monitor the birds, biologists will climb to the nest in the spring and they'll add identification bands to the chick's legs. Then they'll do surveys in the spring and the fall to track the movements and survival of the population. For more information on Oklahoma's incredibly diverse species, check out our many resources at wildlifedepartment.com. There you can browse field guides, share wildlife sightings, and subscribe to The Wild Side, our monthly e-newsletter dedicated to non-game conservation efforts.